Today we're going to remove noise from a few photographs using the Topaz Denoise AI. I've got the AI open and I'm going to click browse images to add some images. I have a series of photos here. I'm going to click this one's quite grainy. This one also is a bit grainy. And I've got another photo of a face down here. And this one's actually a heavily compressed photo. It's actually, these photos have been used in another video, but we're going to go more in depth in this one about the denoise. So this is the big one. This is the one that has the most noise in it. And if I zoom in, we'll go about 200% so we can get a better look at what we're doing. So you can see here, some of the noise has been removed from the background, not so much from the face, but um, we've got a few different models here. Actually, at the moment, it's on automatic. So I'm going to turn off the automatic setting and just try these out. I'll go clear and it clears it right up, low light. Great for nighttime images, too bad. I've got a dark image here, probably not the best. Severe noise, which this is. Look at that. It's actually done a really good job of removing the noise on this one for severe noise. We go raw, and it hasn't actually affected it. So this works best with, with raw files, that sort of thing. So severe noise seems to be the best for this one, but we can also dial it right up, which doesn't look too bad or we could bring it right down. So we can actually move this slider to see how far we want to take this setting and we can even enhance sharpness if we want to. And you can see the difference already just from that. It's not perfect, but you could play with it and probably get a little bit better. Now, with post-processing, you can actually try to recover the original detail as much as possible or color noise reduction and sort of get a few more bits and pieces there. So you can see there already what kind of result we've gotten from that image. And uh, that's pretty cool. And we're gonna actually just move on from there onto the next photo, which is grain two. Or should I say, oh yep, grain two. Now this image is very dark and you can struggle to see any of the details. If I try different areas of this image, you can really see just how grainy it is. And even if I zoom out to 100%, you can still see the grain and just how much it cleans it up. This is just with the standard low light. I can pump the noise, uh, reduce noise higher to really clear it out, enhance the sharpness. I can work on recovering original detail and it'll find somewhere in the middle to sort of bring that out. You can see the noise comes back a little when I crank that up because there's actually not a ton of detail on this image. So I'll bring it back and I can clear the noise reduction, like I can color noise reduction, I should say, and really experiment with my results. Now, this is what it's preferred, but I can try other things like severe noise. I get an okay result there. Low light seems to be more consistent. Clear. Standard. So it has the low light has proven to be the best option with this image. So I'm going to leave that image as it is and move on to the next one. Now we've got this face which has a little bit of grain in it. And once again, it's in upscaling, only removing noise. So it's actually still pretty impressive. But uh, the low light, low light hasn't done a lot for this image because it actually has a lot of light in it. So I need to find which one of these models on the right here, standard, has cleaned it up a fair bit. If you really zoom in on the neck, you can see how clean it is and the eyes. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I can try a few different ones like clear. Clear is not bad. I feel it looks a bit more realistic without as much grain. Severe noise, I think might be a bit overkill. Still not too bad. I personally think clear is fine, but I can also simply go automatic at the top here. And it's chosen standard and everything else is pretty much looking good. So recovering the original detail does introduce a little bit of noise back. But overall, I think that the, the automatic setting does a really great job on this. So I'm going to now move on to the last one. Moving on to the last image, which actually has a ton of JPEG artifact, artifacts. I've actually upscaled this in another video, but you can see how much has managed to remove a lot of these artifacts as well. And I can still continue to crank that up. And this is all just on the auto setting. So uh, I can try and enhance the sharpness, but I, there's just not much information in this image. Probably even best to zoom out to 100. And you can sort of see a bit better how it's improved and just simply even worked as a method for removing JPEG artifacts. So I'm actually gonna select all these, all four of these and go to save four images.
it can batch process the images all at once as you can see here so i'll simply wait for it to go through so all these images have now been exported i'm going to click on this icon to bring up the folder and start doing our comparisons so here are the results i think these have turned out really well considering where the, what the image source was like with the grain it's done a great job of removing these details and although they're not perfect it's pretty close and a great tool for anyone looking to degrain photos of a photographer or someone who works with imagery i think this is an awesome solution and uh really cool to check out and see what results uh were possible otherwise i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please consider giving it a like otherwise i hope to see you again soon and don't forget to check out the topaz denoiser also topaz photo ai which is really really powerful link is in the description below otherwise hope to see you again soon have a great day